20th century that has built in a country. Mm. I want you to look at the country Egypt. Mm. The, 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 the economy went back like uh, it, it used to be double digits. Mm. When the revolution came, it went almost to zero. Mm. Tunisia, uh, Venezuela, name all these countries where revolutions. And revolutions comes when people cannot put food on their table. Mm. Because revolutions will never start with economic hardships. It starts with an empty stomach. Mm. And therefore, when this government came, it can only tax people so much. You can only borrow so much. Mm. And that is why for me, I want to believe that. I, I, I saw the other day a newspaper shouting a frying president. I think it was the headline. It was in the standard. It's mm. in, in the standard, I think. Mm. But I, I would want to be convinced that, yes, the president is going out there. But somebody should be honest enough to tell us what is he going to do because if you look at his last 10 visits critically mm. I including the last one that was that uh, he went to Riyadh the other day mm. the biggest component of his visit it is what is called investment because mm -hmm. uh, borrowing we cannot continue to borrow the same way we are borrowing today Kenyans are crying and I have said that the biggest business for this country and for this government, it is to ensure that food cost will come down. I, I don't want to get into the economic juggle that they need to use. I'm not an economist. Mm. But there is one thing I know. That for Kenyans to even listen to you, for Kenyans to even get interested by any other things you are doing in terms of uh, bringing bills to control how money is brought to the counties, that Kenyans has to have a full stomach. Mm. Otherwise, we are looking at a catastrophe in this country. We are looking at something that is going to boil down. When the NYS, the National Police Service, invites 300 Africans here and 7,000 people who have gone through NYS shows up, that does not put an encouragement face in some of us when we face so the, the president's public. trips are to bring investors, investors into the because country. because that is right now the only component that is going to salvage our economy mm. it is introducing new investment in this country so what should we start getting the dividend of these trips but you you see when when you go to an investment and i say this with utmost respect to the kenya invest mm. kenya invest is a government uh, institution that is tasked with uh, onboarding investors into this country. Yeah. And uh, June, I think Madam June should be the acting CEO of Kenya Invest. Mm. For me, I think one of the things is that we need to restructure Kenya Invest mm. because the president is going out there. Mm. He is onboarding investors. Mm. But when you onboard investors, and I, I have uh, decried the same thing here, mm. when an investor comes here, he needs to find a one-stop shop. Mm. An investor has no business lining out at electricity house. An investor mm. has no business lining out at Kenya Revenue Authority. At City Hall. He has no business going to queue at cabs. Mm. Or he has no business going to do at the special economic zone so that you can get the enterprise license to do business. These are things that Kenya Invest needs to have a one-stop shop for investors. Otherwise, those trips by the president may not yield the fruits we are looking for. If today Eric Latif is approached by this government and he comes to this country to invest a billion dollars and he finds that he needs to deal with 25 government institutions on his own mm. to be able to start producing, it is not going to work. L you know, if you go to Rwanda in Are you saying that the president is not aware of this? No, or he is. is a, you know, now he, he is on to his second minister in he, charge of trade and investment yes and industry yes right yes which is basically this job yes the previous minister moses courier yes did the same number of trips i mean he <laughs> equally traveled yes same way yes seeking to attract investors into the country yes okay yes there's a new minister in charge of trade Rebecca yes Miano, yes doing the same yes the president is doing the same yes. but you're saying back home the structures are not conducive for the investors. And I'm saying this with utmost respect. So then yes. comes my question. Yes. When shall we get the dividend of all these trips by the ministers for trade and mm -hmm. by the president, the chief ambassador? You know, you know, uh, even our ambassadors. Yes, abroad. yes. I'll tell you, for investors who are coming to already established institutions who have started to invest, I'll give you an example. Mm. If today you are coming to invest at 
Tatu City, for instance, or you are coming to invest in Konza Technopolis. At Konza Technopolis, when you come, everything you need is one-stop shop. Okay. You need a CESA license, that is a special economic zone license, so that mm -hmm. you are exempted from paying a huge taxes mm -hmm. so that you're given a leeway to be able to produce and you're given what is called a, a grace period of a number of years to do. Mm -hmm. If you're going to consult, like right now, last week, I was attending a, a Polish Kenyans Invest Conference here in Nairobi. Mm. We have investors who have gone to Konza to uh, do fabrications in the new technologies of fabricating metals, windows, and what have you. Mm -hmm. That investor he just came, brought his money, and brought his prowess. Tatusete has done every required licensing for him. Mm -hmm. And this is why I am saying that, yes, the president is doing what he must do. Mm -hmm. But I will also approve on His Excellency the President and the new trade minister mm -hmm. to put the Kenya Invest House in order. And this goes out to the PS. The PS for investment is uh, Abu Abubakar. Mm. Abu is the PS uh, investment. Mm. They need to put Kenya Invest in order so that when we are introducing an investor to come and deal with plastics or an investor to come and deal with uh, minerals, like the new investors you have seen in Voy, where the president uh, opened the gem uh, refining uh, in, in, in company. Mm. That is an investor that the president approved on him to come from wherever he came. Mm. He is able to do that because that place has been declared a special economic zone, mm -hmm. which means that everything you need needs to be provided by Caesar so that you can be able to do business. And what I, I, I am saying in simple, the president is doing his bit in bringing investors, but I also think that he, he needs to crack the whip. It's also his bit. Then it is, bit, it is his bit order. to crack the whip mm. so that people like Kenya Invest can actually come. They need to do due diligence. You, you, you realize that uh, today, Chinese come here, they come with a very big business they want to do that is not done in Kenya. Mm. Two, three months down the line, a Chinese who came here to produce the formula of making uh, mattresses and supply it to those who produce, mm. he is here producing mattresses. He is here doing woodwork. <laughs> he is here doing match boxes. He is here. You know, that's why I'm telling you, Kenya Invest needs to pull up their socks, they need to ensure that any investor that is coming is not coming to return the small businesses that are, not be, are being done by Kenyans. If you are inviting Eric Rativ to come and invest, let Eric come and invest in a technological uh, investment that changes the shape of a certain business, not mm. to come and do the same thing we as Kenyans are doing. And that is the process. The proce Should the pro we as Kenyans be queuing up at City Hall, at KRA? We shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't. And I've always said that we do or not. You, 